90 days. All right. How to buy a mobile home property in the next 90 days. Can y'all, y'all ready to do that? If you ready, you definitely need to stick on here. What's up? What's up, Facebook? What's good, YouTube? Instagram, we live, man. I'm live on three platforms, and we talking about how to buy a mobile home in the next 30 days. Listen, if you want to learn how to buy a mobile home in the next 30 days, I need you to comment yes. Comment yes in the chat. Yes, I want to learn how to buy a mobile home. Just put yes in the chat. What's up? What's up? How you feeling? Put yes in the chat if you want to learn how to buy a mobile home. Want to find mobile home parks today. Okay. We moving. Let's get it, Brianna. All right. Put yes in the chat if you want to learn how to buy a mobile home property in the next 30 days, y'all. Like I said, today I'm giving y'all some sauce, man. The goal, my the reason why I'm teaching y'all this today is because here's the thing. I want y'all to be able to help a family. Okay. I want you all to be able to help a family with affordable housing through manufactured homes. So tonight we're going to go in, we're going to go over some strategy on how to find these mobile homes. All right. We're going to talk about why mobile home investing is your first time jumping in on a chat. Is your first time ever being live with me? Put a number one in the chat. Take off the sweater. <laughs> no, no, no. All right. So anyway, listen, um, go ahead. Like I said, make sure you all comment one if your first time tapping in with me. All right. And we about to go in. All right, we got YouTube. Toya from YouTube said, yes, what's up? What's up? Okay, Brianna, what up? Wallo, what up? Good. Okay, okay. What's up? Um, I'm, I'm bad at sometimes reading names. Trio Cuts, what up? What up? What up? All right, cool, cool. So listen, real quick. Mobile home investing, right? Mobile home investing. What is mobile home investing? Well, this is when we find trailers, right? I hear the word trailers, manufacture homes, use mobile homes. And this is when we're able to make a profit, right? We're able to buy these assets at a low cost, and then we're able to make a profit on the back end by still being able to provide affordability. All right. So this is very important. And so when we talk about mobile homes, right, real quick, before we get into it, tell me some of the stigmas that y'all had about mobile homes. We're going to have a free, we're going to have, put it in the chat. I want y'all to tell me what's some stigmas that y'all have about mobile homes. Go ahead and put it in the chat. What's the stigma that you had about mobile homes before we even get into this? Something that you thought about when it comes to mobile homes. Let me know y'all stigmas. Because we're going to go ahead and dispel some of them cheap. Okay. What's some stigmas that you had? Trailer trash and heard that before. What else? Let me see some stigmas that y'all had. Unstable structures, run down and dirty. <laughs> All right, what's some stick? Lot rent rip off. Ooh, yeah, it's a lot of people doing that, unfortunately. Tornado. Yeah, definitely didn't heard that before. All right, let's see. Dirty. Okay. Unreliable. <laughs> All right. Definitely not heard a lot of these, these stigmas that y'all had, right? And so the thing about it is, especially nowadays, right? Do some of those stigmas do some of those stigmas still exist? Yes. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm not gonna lie and be like, no, absolutely not. But for one, I've seen one that says cheap, right? And a lot of times this they are necessarily maybe cheap, maybe uh less uh cost efficient as a single family home. But here's the reality though, when we think about that, right? Like I said, with it being less cost efficient. They're made in a factory and they're shipped to the location. But here's the thing. HUD is involved. So with HUD being involved, OK, that means that they have to meet standards to be put on land. So anything that's a 1976 or older, a lot of times, yeah, those can be built cheaply. Then the government got involved. was like, nah, we ain't going to have y'all out here bogus like that. All right. We ain't going to do you. We're not going to do you in. Right. We're not going to have you out here pretty much out here. You know what I'm saying? Putting bogus product out here. I don't know what's going on. Turn off this little light flickering on me now. So we got that out the out, out right. As far as what's mobile homes, right? You know, understanding. Let's talk about the profitability of these mobile homes, right? Somebody put in the chat. What's up, Stacy? How you feeling? Somebody put in the chat. What is what's the average price you think a mobile home is in your area? But this is what I want you to do. When you put that, I want you to put your city. Then what you think? How much they cost? 
I want you to put your city and then I want you to put how much you think they cost. So give me a city and then I want you to put how much they cost. Because that's what I like. Again, we're going to kind of go over some things. Like I said, I'm, I'm still show y'all how to buy a mobile home, but we got to know these prices. Got to talk about these prices. 12 to 30K. Okay, cool. Dewan, where you at? Where you at with it? Okay, Virginia Beach. Let me know what y'all what y'all seeing. And that's that's about doable. Seattle, 300K. Yeah, for a brand new one. Okay, Garnett said, all right, 125, 125. Okay, okay. I can see that. Orlando, 50K. Okay. Houston, 25. So this is what I love about it, right? You all are giving some wonderful prices, especially, and a lot of y'all honestly are spot on on some of y'all areas, right? Grand Rapids, 10 to 40K. Okay. 89 to 165K Instagram. Okay. So here's the thing. Like I said, a lot of you all are on to something, right? Because here's the thing. The prices that y'all are seeing, these are the prices for deals that either are A, being listed on a public place, right? Or a dealer is trying to sell this. So the goal for us today is we want to find off-market deals. We want to find people that, again, what, what, when y'all showing the prices, right? Being willing to get top dollar for the for those homes, we want to be able to find these homes so that way we can go get top dollar, right? The areas I'm seeing 125, I'm seeing 50,000, I'm seeing those numbers. So that's the thing, right? We want to be able to find these deals, okay? So let's talk about market research. How do we find these deals? Well, I'm going to need some of y'all help, right? I need some I need some note takers that's going to be in the chat. I need some people that go ahead and just, when I say these things, go ahead and put in the chat so that way anybody's missing it if I'm talking too fast, right? So the first thing, the first general thing I'm going to tell y'all is driving for dollars. This is the, if you've been, if you've been on a live with me, you know this play already that I'm going to give y'all, but we always start off with anybody who's new. So the first thing y'all do is you go to Google Maps. All right, you go to Google Maps. And then you type in mobile home parks. All right, Google Maps, you type in mobile home parks. You're going to start seeing all of these red pins. Now, I want you to do is move, start moving your cursors around, right? I, I want you to start looking for in different areas to see where these mobile home parks are at. Now, I, I forget who was earlier. I think it was Brian, was it Brianna. One of you all said that y'all had drove five parks today, which is amazing. Now, the reason why I want you to do that is because, again, I'll talk about this is the this is the start. This is getting your feet wet, right? Driving for dollars, meaning you're going to a mobile home park. Put a one in the chat if you never, ever stepped foot on a mobile home park. You never even drove in a mobile home park. You never even you don't even know. Just put a one in the chat. If you never even even been in a mobile home park, put a one in the chat. You're like, you know what? No, I ain't I ain't did that. <laughs> and I honestly don't plan on doing it. All right. Put a one in the chat. Because here's the thing with the Google Maps. I appreciate y'all. I love it. I love it. Right? Google Maps, mobile home parks. Now, the reason why is because this is what I want you to do. I want, When you do that, I want you to identify five mobile home communities. I want you to identify five mobile home communities. And when you identify those five, the first thing I want you to do is call them tomorrow and ask them, do they have any mobile homes for sale? That's all I want you to ask them. Do you have any mobile homes for sale? Somebody will say, yeah, I do. You know what you're looking for. You can say, I'm looking. Do you have anything less than whatever your price range is? Get, you got anything less than 10,000, anything less than 20,000, right? Call them. You don't need a script. You don't need to go ahead and try to get all like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm an investor. You don't need all that. Just call them and see what they have, right? And the reason why is they say they do, I want you to go set up an appointment to go see them because the thing is you got to get your feet wet. If you want to get in real estate, you got to go in the house. All <laughs> right. <laughs> like I get a lot of things. We virtually want to do things virtual, but you got to get like, go, go see, go see the actual asset. So again, a Google maps, mobile home parks, right? So again, the next thing I'll tell you is make a spreadsheet with those houses. Okay. Now the next thing to see what mobile home parks is near you is a website called mhvillage.com. mhvillage.com mhvillage.com okay this is a website a public website that has a lot of mobile homes on there um the cool thing about this right it allows you to see what a lot of mobile home parks are selling their mobile homes for right or a lot of dealers are selling their mobile homes for now going on image brianna i appreciate you going on mhvillage.com now what you're able to do is start seeing 
okay, what's for sale and who's selling things for top dollar, right? That's why I like using it. And it also lets you see where mobile home parks is. You can you can uh, filter mobile home parks per county. You can filter mobile home parks per city. Um, again, per state. Like that's what I like about it. It just it has a lot of organization on there. All right. Uh, anytime, right? So imagevillage.com. So now y'all getting to see, okay, we starting to see some of the assets. We starting to see what's on the market. So you kind of get acclimated to see what's on the market. The next thing is we're going to go to Facebook Marketplace. All right, we're going to go to Facebook Marketplace and you're going to type in mobile home parks. Sorry, mobile homes. Erase that. You're going to type in mobile homes or manufactured homes on the Facebook Marketplace, right? Now, I'm going to tell you to Make sure your make sure your browser go about. I mean, your your search is about 40 miles, right? If you're willing to drive, do 40, 60 miles so you can start seeing what these mobile homes. Now, the reason I like Facebook Marketplace because this is direct to seller. These are nine times out of ten. Some parks is you either going to be talking to a wholesaler or you're going to be talking to an actual seller of a mobile home, right? This is when you can negotiate. This is when you can start. You know, again, start asking questions, start setting up appointments. Now, the key thing is. When you go to, when you start to reach out to these people, right, schedule appointments to go see them. Now, if you're in markets where these houses, you may say, well, you know what? It's a little bit further. You know, I don't, I don't really know about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, then the, have a conversation with somebody, right? Have a conversation with them and think about what does Facebook have in a Facebook messenger? We can video chat. We can video chat. So, hey, listen, you mind, you mind if you could show me, show me the video, see if you can walk through the house and everything for me. Right. That's what you want to start doing. Remember, we want to buy our first property in the next 30 days. We want to buy our first property in the next 30 days. Because wow, here's the reason I want you guys to buy your first property. Because if, if y'all watch this live and you come back to me in the next 30 days and say, yo, B, I bought a mobile home, <laughs> right? I bought a property from, from you. And guess what? I'm ready to work. Let's work. Because now what you're telling me is in 30 days I can make it happen. And then in the next 60 to 90 days. Now we're talking about taking off. Now we're talking about talking about more than 10, you know, 10, 20 K months because I see y'all pumping and I see y'all already got some, some, some nice activity into you. Now here's the thing. If you don't get it in 30 days, that's okay because I know you try. I know you try, but again, I got to give y'all some sauce. Come on now. Come on now. Put, put a fire sign in the chat. If you get some value, because I ain't done yet. We just turned it up. You got to turn me up. Turn me up. All right, let me see. Let me see. Y'all got to turn me up. Let me see. What my, let me go to my sound. Boy, I seen my sister Nicole. I'm not sure she's, she's still on here, but we get we got to turn it up. We got to turn it up. Let me put, drop a fire sound if you already get some value. If you already looking, if you already looking, if you already like, okay, I see, I see where bro going. I see where bro going. Come on. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see. Bam said, with your help, I bought one for $800 and getting some work done. I can't wait to show you the end result. Let's go. Okay, Bam, Bam on YouTube said, "Hey, let's go." Oh yeah, y'all just turn me up. Y'all listen, Bam just turn me up. Let me, let me, let me show y'all what this young man said real quick. Hold on, let me take my, uh, let me take my Instagram family and show y'all. This, this, this is stuff that turned me up. Hold on, let me see that. Y'all see what Bam said? He said, "With your help, I bought one for eight hundred dollars and getting some work done on it, and can't wait to show you the end results." I had to listen. Come on, we, we going in, y'all. Hey. Put yes in the chat if you're gonna get a, if you're gonna get a mobile home investment in the next 30 days. Put yes in the chat if you're gonna get a mobile home investment in the next 30 days. Y'all see I'm hot in here, boy. Somebody told me to take the hoodie off, but I'm not. Cause I'm hot. We about to light this boy on fire. Let's go. Let's go. Bam, you just made my day. Let's go. 800. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, cool. YouTube, y'all might not be feeling me. Only Toya gave me the fire sign. Facebook, y'all may not be feeling me, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. We go. We go. Set this boy on fire. All right. Let me go ahead. Who? All right. Bet. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. So we left off again. Facebook Marketplace. Remember, I said get a get somebody to show you a video chat. Now here's the thing. Schedule an appointment. Schedule an appointment. Schedule an appointment. And here's the thing. I want y'all to go see. The goal is in the next in the next ten days. The goal is I want you to get out and go see at least 10 homes. Now you might be like, Byron, I don't know if I got the time. I I don't know if I got the time. I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. Like, you know, I got the kids. I got my job is killing me. I got, I can make the time. Now here's the thing. If you got the time to go to the bar and go get a drink, you can do it. If you got the time to go to a restaurant, you got the time to do it. If you got the time to go sit and watch Netflix, you can do it. If you got the time, if I tell you right now, like, yo, 
I think if you if you do this, you can make five thousand dollars off of it. Would you make time for it? Binge watching that Netflix show, will it pay you five grand? Nah. <laughs> All right, no, nah, it's not. All right. And the reason I hear that we talking about getting money today, right? I want again, why and tell me if you've been here from the beginning, why do I want y'all to go get a mobile home in the next 30 days? If somebody was from the beginning, tell me the reason why. Because we got a why behind this. Yeah, I want you to make some money, but what's our why? Why are we getting a mobile home property in the next 30 days? Tell me, tell me why. If you was here from the beginning, tell me why did we say we're getting a mobile home property. I just want to see if y'all listening. I want to see if y'all listening. Because we ain't done. We just getting started. Let me see if y'all listening. It's a help family. Let's go, Ken. Ooh, hey, Mama Lulu's Kitchen. To help a family. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, y'all in tune. To help a family get affordable housing. Listen, when you put people first, you get rewarded financially. You put people first, you get rewarded financially. Always remember that. You put people first. That's why the people who have the best customer service, that's why the companies sometimes have the best customer service, have the best customer experience. When they put people first, those companies benefit. And that's the same thing I want you all to think about y'all company. You put the people first. All right, cool, cool. So now again, we've, we, we found, how do we start? Remember, we started driving for dollars. Remember Google Maps, mobile home parks. We went to mhvillage.com. Okay. Remember, we went to mhvillage.com. Then remember we went to Facebook Marketplace. All right. So now we we finding the homes. Now we're having the conversations. One of the most scary things now is what do I say? What do I say? Well, I'm gonna give y'all some tips on what to say and how to talk to a seller. The first one is be yourself. Be yourself, right? Be yourself. Be your authentic self. That's the first thing I want to say. I love it. Brandon said, have conversations, right? See, what happens is we think like, okay, what I'm supposed to say, what I'm supposed to do. I don't know. I, I need a script. And it's not about having a script. It's not about, you know what I'm saying, trying to finesse people and, and say the perfect thing. It's about having a conversation. The first thing you want to find out is why are you selling? It's just simply, hey, may I ask you, why, why are you selling? When that person answers why they are selling, that answer alone will tell you how much you possibly be willing to negotiate. Because what you're listening for is, for one, you're listening to pain points, but what's the problem that they have? And guess what the problem is? They want to sell this home. That's their problem. They need to sell it. They need a buyer. And the quicker you come to their aid, the quicker they're willing to work with you. Now, I will say when I used to, when I first started this, I've been doing this now again, going on six years. I used to tell y'all to lowball people. I ain't gonna lie. I, I'll say it right here. I used to tell y'all to lowball people. I used to say, man, say something that's gonna scare you. So that means if they selling it for 25,000, you better go and say, man, listen, I'll give you 8,000 for it. But I want you to be respectful. <laughs> right? So the first thing is ask them why they're selling. Right? You're gonna hear these are not, these are the key things normally why people are selling, right? They have to move. Right. They got a, they got a new job. They no longer can afford it. Um, you know, what I'm saying divorce um, They, you know, they behind if it's in a park, they could be behind on a lot rent. Um, you know, a lot of different things. Reason why people are selling. So once you hear that, once you hear their reason for selling right now, how soon do you want to sell this house? OK. Right. Find out how soon do you want to sell a house once you figure. OK, cool. Now, you know, you now you got a timeline. Now, you know what you're working with. You know what you know. Like, OK, cool. I got I got they need to stay need to be going in 30 in about 30 days. OK, cool. Like now I know. Right. Then once they tell you that, OK, cool. Well, now you can kind of get what's so far. Have, have you got any offers? Right. Have you got any offers? This conversation, have you got, yeah, you know, I got a few offers. Cool. Any, any good ones so far? They may say, um, you know, that's, you know, they, they well, or I got somebody who look willing to pay me, you know, whatever that is, but they're just applying. Okay, cool. Well, this is what I can offer you and make an offer, right? Make an offer, make an offer when you go see it, especially if it's something that you know you want. What happens is a lot of my people get scared when we start starting off, they get scared and like, okay, man, I don't, you know, I don't, I, I want to get it, but you know, 
I want to get it, but I don't want to say the wrong thing. You can't say the wrong thing because if you know you're going to make a profit, here's, here's the beautiful thing about it, right? Let's talk about market research, right? So we get we identify the mobile homes. How do we know how much they worth? Like that's the biggest thing I get. Comps. Why do how do I find comps? How do I know how much this mobile home is really worth? So the first thing is if you're doing it inside of a mobile home park, and again, all my beginners, the reason I want you guys to start inside of a mobile home park because the experience inside of a mobile home park is going to get you ready to do it on on private land, right? It's going to get you ready to keep on progressing and own mobile home parks. Now. The thing about we talk about market research, you can call the park, all right? Call the mobile home park, and what you want to ask them is, listen, hey, how you doing? Hey, I'll just give I was wanted to give you a, a call and just quick. Uh, I seen some mobile home parks for sale. Let me let me ask you this: in in your community, um, how much do how much do you know handyman specials normally sell for? Now, what is a handyman special? A handyman special is normally a mobile home that needs work. That's what a handyman special is: a mobile home that needs work. All right. So how much does a handyman special cost and how much does a new mobile home cost? They're going to give you a wide range. Let me say, well, you know, our handyman specials can go for anywhere from, you know, 3,000, 5,000, 8,000. And our new home sell for 70,000. Now, you know, you got a wide range. You can sell anything on the low to the high end. I always like that high number because what that high number tells me is if I'm buying an asset in a mobile home park, let's say for 10 or 15,000 and they got brand new home selling for 70,000, that means my, and, and I, I could be in that median range if I fix that home up and I make it, I make it great inside, right? You could take an old home. Listen, I'm give y'all some game. You can take an old home, fresh paint, new floors, black appliances, <laughs> right? Trust me, black appliances. All right. A new toilet. If you're going to keep the toilet, at least a new toilet seat. Right. Like like the cosmetic of the house. Right. Add some fixtures, add nice, new modern lighting that that just by doing those things, you can take an older home, a 1980 home. And now, like I said, depending on depending on what the homes are selling for in that community. Now you can possibly go get, you know, in that median range, 30 to possibly 40, 50,000. Right now, let me know where y'all checking in from. Drop in the chat where y'all checking in from, because from this. I'm going to tell you, we talked, I know earlier I was asking y'all um, on, um, I was asking y'all earlier uh, how much mobile homes cost in your state, right? In a lot of, in y'all areas. So the, here's the thing. I'm going to tell y'all the average pre-owned mobile home cost per state. So once y'all drop where y'all let, I'm going to tell you what that top dollar looking like. So Charlotte, somebody put Charlotte, North Carolina, 85K. Detroit, who you can probably, Detroit, you probably getting around like 50 Depends on 50 to 70 max. Georgia, uh, 52,000. You can get a little bit more in, in near cities. Jersey, we looking at 82,000. Uh, Arizona, 55,000 plus. Houston, you can get around 60 some thousand. ATL, around that 60,000. Central California, 120,000. South Carolina, uh, we talking about 69,000. Hold on, my bad. Instagram, we going fast. Let me get my let me get my YouTube people. My bad, my bad. I, <laughs> for of Sarasota, you're about 70,000. Um, let's see. Uh, Texas, I think Texas already. Brianna, we go on for about 61,000 for your area. Let's see. Chicago, hey, I love it. Chicago's very own. We on the high end, on our end, about, about 40,000. The state of Missouri, the average price for the state of Missouri, we talking $46,000. IG, I'm gonna come back to y'all. So I'm just getting these YouTube folks real quick. Dallas in that 50,000 range. The state of Alabama, we looking at 60,000. Again, this is what we can possibly get. All right, let me go to, let me go back to IG. All right, my, my bad. I know I, I missed some of y'all. Let me go back to IG. Let's see where we was at. Uh, I had South Carolina, 69,000. Pennsylvania, 58,000. That's the median price. Jacksonville, Florida, around 50,000. Virginia, 92,000. Wisconsin, 38,000. Arizona, 55,000. Uh, Portland, yeah, Portland, we up there. Portland, we looking at <laughs> about 90,000. Illinois, 56,000. Ohio, 54,000. Man, let's see. Whew. 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 Virginia, what we see? Well, we have 55,000. And this is pre owned use. Pre owned use. Man, I wish I could give me a round of applause for that one. I've got to drop the bond on that one. I had to, you know what I'm saying? I take deep breaths on that boy right there. <laughs> but no, listen. So again, Maryland, uh, Maryland, 64,000. All right. So 
I say this to say this because that's when we talk about top dollar. But the goal, remember that all the tools that I gave y'all is to find these off market deals. So being on Facebook, right? Calling park managers. All right. I'm going to give you an extra gem. When you're on imagevillage.com, they have a section for dealers. Start calling dealers and be like, yo, listen, let's say, I know you got some mobile homes. For sale. You know, any, you got any mobile homes less than 10,000? You got some old handy band specials or you know somebody who got them? Dealers is the keys to the streets. Dealers is the keys to the streets. They don't want them, so they'll give them to you. Mobile home movers, keys to the streets. They don't want them. They're going to give them to you. Told y'all we going in tonight. I ain't playing with y'all. <laughs> I ain't playing with y'all, man. I told y'all. Everybody who said yes, how to buy, y'all want to buy a mobile home in the next 30 days. I told y'all I got y'all. I told you I got you. You got to believe me. No fluff. We're going in. All right. So now we talk about market research. We talked about these are the prices. We talk about max dollar that you can get for these off market deals. All right. Max dollar. We so we told y'all how to find them, right? We talk about market research on how to, you know, find out. Now, key thing too, we talk about supply and demand. I'm gonna give y'all another hack because I again, I ain't been live in a minute, y'all. So I'm gonna go in and give y'all this information because it's a, why not? I told y'all I need to see y'all get a deal. All right. So the thing about it, okay, is when we talk about um when we talk about supply and demand, how do we know? what a demand is. Well, here's the key thing. Go on Facebook groups, go on all the, the Facebook groups that have um, like, you know, like looking for like, like rentals, go on all the Facebook groups. And you say, this is the course. And listen, Brianna, when I tell you, this ain't even half of the course. This is, this is, this is one smidget of the program. <laughs> I got you though. All right. This is just one strategy we're going over tonight. So listen, when we talk about market research, right? Or being able to see a supply and demand, go inside of those, those Facebook groups, right? Go inside of the Facebook groups that have, um, you know, rentals like for rent, go inside of those and start looking at the comments. People are like, I'm looking for a two bear and one bath. I'm looking and see and make sure it's in that same city. Cause now you can be like, yo, okay. I know you look trying to go look in that apartment, right? I know you're looking for an apartment, but I got something even better than I got something that you might not even consider. You know, of course, you don't say I got a trailer but like this. How you ever considered a manufactured home? They don't think because if I say a mobile home, people are like, nah, I don't know about that. Have you considered a manufactured home? Hmm, what's that? You able to show somebody the inside pictures first, then they're gonna be like, what well, trailer? You're like, well, listen, you go live in that apartment, you're gonna have neighbors upstairs, downstairs. Here, you got your own yard, you got space. This is your own crib. It's really helping people. This the sale of it is helping people to realize like. And I got, I can own my own asset and I can go turn around and sell this when I'm, when I'm done with this. That's really like, well, manufacture homes. A lot of times we, we don't see the value because we just think trailers, we think all the negative stuff, but it's like, yo, you can take this crib. And again, if you want to move, if you need it, move now to move can, can cost, but it's doable. You can't move no apartment. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's what I love about it. So again, we just want to do the market research by going inside groups, seeing who's looking for rentals. All right. So again, I told you I'm going in, telling y'all I'm going in. Now, how do we evaluate these, right? How do we evaluate? How do we know how much costs and, you know what I'm saying? Like, how, how do we do all of that stuff? I got y'all. I got y'all covered, right? So let's talk about some notable expenses, right? So again, if you get a mobile home, it's just not, you just, you're not just buying this asset and boom, you got nothing to pay. That's not the case, right? It comes with different things. Now, today I'm telling y'all how to buy a mobile home, all right? Trust me on Instagram. If you comment elite, all right, you get you get access to all of our strategies. Um, we talk about again how to wholesale, but we're not talking about that today. Today we're talking about um, we're talking about exactly on how to buy a mobile home. Because some of y'all sitting on cash, some of y'all got four hundred one k, some of y'all sitting on the savings, some of y'all got some money. Like yo, I'm ready to go buy something and flip something. I'm talking to y'all tonight, but it's cool because I still got y'all. And somebody asked me earlier, like how you do this with OPM relationships. Watch this. I'm going to do this real quick. I, I love it. I don't know. If, King, if you still on here, somebody asked me earlier, like, how you do this with OPM? What's OPM? Other people's money. Watch this. How many of y'all put yes in the chat? How many of y'all have the money to invest? You just don't have the time right now. Put yes in the chat. Put yes in the chat. Like, yo, I got the money. I want to invest. I just don't have the time to go do it. Put yes in the chat. Like, yo, I'm sitting on the extra 10. I'm sitting on the extra 20. I'm sitting on the extra 50. 
I got I got the money. I just ain't got the time because, you know, hey, I'm in trucking or I, I do stocks or, you know, I, I do something else. Put yes in the chat if you like, yo. And so I, the reason why I said it, because when somebody asks early about other people's money, I love it. Right. YouTube going crazy. Right. Let's see. YouTube. I got I got three people. Fredo knows best. Garrett. Let's see. Donald said I got both. Joy says yes. Motown. Vicky says yes. This is what I love doing this because they, these are the people who have the capital. You just got to know what you're doing. You got to bring a good deal to them. You got to build a relationship with them to say, listen, hey, listen, I saw I saw you on that live. I know it's something different. Build a relationship. Hey, let's just keep in contact. I'm a lookout for mobile homes. If I have something, do you mind? Do you mind if I if I share something with you and I bring you a good deal? Would you be willing to invest in it? It's that simple. It, uh, using other people's money, you have to build trust. You have to build trust that you know what you're doing, right? You have to break down the numbers and then you need paperwork, right? You need, you need contracts in place, whether it's a joint venture contract, right? You need a contract in place to make sure that you will come through on your word, right? You're going to deliver. And the person, same time, the investor has to know the risk, right? They got to know the risk of, you know, what's going into it and make sure again that they, um, that they mitigate your risk. All right. Yo, what up, Fredo? He said, I purchased a master class, man. Big salute. Big salute. I'm, I'm taking digital notes as Byron talks. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. So we just did that exercise. Okay. But now we're going to talk about how to evaluate these deals. So the first thing, taxes. Taxes is very important, right? Taxes on mobile homes is very important. Now, taxes aren't that bad on mobile homes inside of parks because it's considered personal property, right? It's considered chattel. Right. So, again, it, when you when you have a mobile home on your private land and now that's considered, um, you know, you're paying property taxes. But if it's in a mobile home park, you, taxes aren't that bad in mobile home parks. Right. Most most areas, like I said, in, in Illinois, the most I ever paid for taxes is one hundred and sixty eight dollars for the year. You know, what I'm saying some crazy, you know, what I'm saying. So, again, it's it's not that because the mobile home park owner pays taxes on the land. Right. So that's the kind of the, the play that I like about taxes on mobile homes. Right. Title transfers. If you are in states, uh, if you're in Texas, if you're in New Hampshire, you're in Delaware, you don't have to worry about title transfer. Every other state, you have to worry about title transfers. Now, transferring the title, again, we're talking a few hundred dollars. A few hundred dollars for a title transfer, just like a car. All right, just like a car, a few hundred dollars, not a whole lot to do that. Insurance. Oh, man, I actually met a king um, from Countryline Insurance. I actually got to shoot him a text. Uh, but insuring your mobile home, right? Now, if you're going to hold on to, if you're going to hold on to a mobile home or you're going to collect, you're going to do rentals on a mobile home, you know, make sure you get insurance on it. Very affordable. Um, just like auto home insurance, whoever insures your car, I guarantee you they have uh, manufactured home insurance as well, right? So again, your insurance, lot rent. Now, this is one of the things that I've seen knock people out the park. Lot rent. And sometimes lot rent not fair. Now, I'm going to say this. If a mobile home park was, if you found that a mobile home park was just recently recently purchased within the within the last three years, that lot rent going up, because new investors that get in the game, they you know I get it, like, and I'll be honest, I, I mean I can't say that we haven't right. Our group has purchased mobile home parks and we have increased the lot rents, but a lot of times they're not near market prices, right? We look for mobile home parks that the lot rent is lower than what the market demands, right? So when we go in, we're not necessarily just trying to price them out; we're just going in and just raising increasing lot rents to get with mark with market rates so but unfortunately though some of these parks y'all gonna go in they going crazy but you have to factor in lot rent so i call a lot rent is your holding cost if you're going to do a fix and flip then how long would it take you to sell so i always tell you rule of thumb make sure you have at least three to four months of lot rent in 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 the tub right make sure you have three to four months lot rent if you're doing the rentals then i always make sure my, my tenants are paying the lot rent you know what I'm saying? Like they're going to pay, they're going to pay me and they're going to pay the lot rent. Two different contracts for me. That's just my personal uh, thing. Then do you have enough money to renovate the home? All right. Do you got enough money to renovate the home? That's the biggest thing about like mobile homes, a, a, a single wide on a high end, 15,000, a double wide on a high end. We're looking at $25,000 for a renovation. Very low compared to most to single family homes. But again, are you going to do you at that? And if you don't sell it to an investor, right? Is it bad as HOA? That's all it is. So, mo so lot rent is, what up, Ron? So lot rent is nothing but an HOA. That's what it is. It includes the amenities, 
you pay you pay for you leasing you're leasing the land that your that your home is on that's that's really what it is right you're leasing the land all right so y'all so we've been on here for a minute you know what i'm saying so so far i told y'all how to go drive for dollars what the online places to go find mobile homes all right how to call them what to say to go set up an appointment okay now you see a mobile home i'm going to tell you i'm going to tell you hire an inspector uh, you can you can find somebody there on facebook recommendation ask the park manager or um, if you want to, you can actually go, um, go on Angie's list and then find find a, a mobile home inspector. OK, I always want to get your home inspected just to make sure, you know, nothing bogus on that home. Now. Here's the thing. You ready to buy? You ready to buy? You're like, OK, I got it. I got all the steps Byron told me on that night that he went in. He almost 40 minutes in. He gave me game. I, I know where to get my mobile home. I know what to look for. Like, I'm ready. What do I do? So. Always pay with a cashier's check. Pay with a cashier's check. Now, the next thing is, if you're investing in a mobile home community, you have to apply for the mobile home community. You have to apply for the mobile home community. Now, the only way you don't apply for a mobile home community is if you plan on moving that home out of there. If you plan on moving that mobile home out of there, then, you know, I ain't going to tell you to apply. It says, when you wholesale a home to another investor, would you have to have it? Nope, you don't. Now we're wholesaling. You don't have to. That per, the next seller gonna have to get approved. But no. Nah. So with with saying that, all right, you gotta you gotta apply. Sometimes they have that could be like anywhere from a few dollars. Let's say if, you know 40, 50 bucks for application fee. Most mobile home parks. Some some are getting a little bit more strenuous. You gotta have at least a six hundred credit score. No convictions. No previous evictions. You'll get approved. All right. Um. Still need to consider liens, correct? Yes. Make sure there's no liens on the title, right? Lien on the title means that somebody else owns it or they have not got to remove. What is a lien holder? A lien holder is just like when you go get a car, when you go get finance from a car, you go get a car, your GM, GM is your lien holder. You not, you're not going to get the title and the title is not going to go in your name until you finish off paying that, that home. And a lot of times mobile homes are the same way. So again, if you're doing seller finance, you're going to put a lien on it so that way they can't try to say it's theirs, right? So that way, again, um, um, you know, you'll be good to go. All right. So we're ready to purchase. What do we need? Right. Make sure it's a clean, uh, free and clear title, meaning there's no lien holder on it. Make sure the taxes are paid up. You can check that information out to the county clerk. Then, right, we want to make sure we get approved, get approved to buy that mobile home. And once we do that, guess what? We can buy y'all. We can buy our first mobile home within the first 30 days. Come on now. If you rock them, you still rock them, put yes in the chat. Who going who gonna to get that? Who going to see who I should put a, hmm, I'm trying to think. How can I, I kind of want to put a wager on this now. Like to see who going to get their first mobile home. I'm feeling good right now. I'm trying to see. What can I give y'all for getting y'all first? If somebody get their first mobile home, who going to be the first to do it? Who? Hmm. I might have to let y'all on in a mobile home park deal or something like that. I don't, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. All right. Cool. Cool. <laughs> let's get it. Let's get it. All right. I'm going to think of something, man, because I'm, I'm, I'm excited because we're going to. Let me see. We 30 days out, June 26th. Ooh, I'm actually be out of town. So if I can hop on live, I'm going to check back up. What's up, Nicole? Nicole, listen, you know what's funny? Early I was on your live and you thought I was somebody spamming your live. And I, I said Sharnice and my daughter name. And you said, who? You said that ain't Byron and Sharnice because he spelled a name wrong. Hey, I was there. That was funny. He said, how, <laughs> uh, he said, how much is your course? So I love that you asked that. So right now I got a crazy special right now going on. So we have right now, I'm, I'm instead of just, I mean, if you want the course, my course is 397, but I have something I feel like is 10 times better than the course that we offer, which is called our mobile home society. And what our mobile home society is, our mobile home society is a six month or a 12 month coaching program. So you get to see me every single Wednesday. You get to see myself. You get to see Nicole, Mobile Home Mama. You get to see other instructors we bring on. Um, and every week we're talking about a new strategy. We got an app. Yeah, our own app. <laughs> all right. We got our own app. So we got our own community. We got Facebook groups. And you get access to all the courses. All the courses. Now, you can get it for the year. 
If you want to get it for the year, it's less than a thousand dollars, basically nine nine seven. If you want to pay monthly, it's ninety seven dollars a month. So for all you all of you, like yo, I want to try it out. You know, hey, I, I like what I'm learning. You know what I'm saying? I wanna, I wanna, you know, come in your community again, try it out for ninety seven dollars. You can cancel anytime. And the reason I'm doing it because I'm all about, I'm big on affordable housing and affordable education. If I give you affordable education, you can help me help all of us solve the affordable housing crisis. But the only way I can give it to you, I got to give it to you at affordable price. But here's my, the only thing that I ask you all is you got to do the work. You got to be willing to do the work. Is this easy? No, this, this ain't easy. I'm, I'm not, again, I can give you the information, but this isn't easy, right? This isn't like, oh, this is going to be a cakewalk. Boom. Because if it was, everybody be doing it. But I can show you how to make it fun. I can show you the steps on how to how to go out there. I can show you systems to help you out to make it fun. If you're doing it for the money, you're going to get burnt out. You may do one or two deals and you're going to be on to the next thing. If you're doing it for the purpose to help people out, then I'm telling you, this is going to be one of the best things you did. Because here's the reality. And Nicole, can you get free? The first time you give a family the keys, it's going to change your life. I almost teared up. Like, man, because you see, we were hugging. Like, every family that I gave keys to, that was like, yo, this is bigger than me. I said, what do you sign up monthly? So all, for Instagram, all you got to do is Comedy Elite. All right, Instagram Comedy Elite. And you're going to get the sign up right in your mailbox. And then you'll see uh, when you do it, you'll see the um, you'll see the sign up. You'll see me and my wife on the on the front page of that. And then here, let me see on YouTube. I'm putting the uh, I'm putting the link in there. So then that way y'all can go ahead and join. And tomorrow, guess what? Tomorrow's class. It's uh, tomorrow's class. We will be talking about how to fill a mobile home park, how to get a mobile home park finance. So each week, every week, we talk about a different subject, right? We go from beginner to advanced. Tomorrow's an advanced class when we talk about mobile home parks, on how to finance a mobile home park. And like I said, I do these lives. I want to be able to, I'm always, if y'all, again, YouTube, you already know, I'm always looking at y'all information. I'm always going to show love because to me, it's, it's not about, it's, I can give you as much information as possible, but you all need to push. And that's what the community is for. Right. Every week you see somebody getting some deals closed. It's just a dope community, man. Get into a mobile home investing community. Um, and, you know, what I'm saying for me, you know, I'll tell you, I don't care where you get the information from. Just make sure you do it. If you if, if I'm your cup of tea, if you like, yo, no, I rock with you, be, then come rock with me. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like I said, I just want to see y'all win. And that's all I'm about. At the end of the day, I just want to see y'all win. And again, if you willing to put the work in. All right. And, and it's saying and the cool thing is not an 80 an hour, 80 hour week <laughs> task. Right. It's all about how you structure, how you do time management. That's mobile home investing, time management. If you manage your time, you can do a lot of great things. And you'll see within the program, you get to look at the replays. You can be like, oh, damn, y'all got that strategy. Gotcha. Hold on real quick. I had a question from YouTube. Dark Beer said material wise, how much a renovation? I know I know some people. So materials, I mean, materials is the cheapest thing. You really pay for the labor. All right. Um. Man, I got I don't have it in front of me right now, but I have a whole breakdown. Even in my program, I break down every single thing on how much everything costs from the furnace to, you know what I'm saying, to 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 flooring to every per square foot. Like we break all that down. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, on the high end, I say 14,000, 14, 15,000 for a single Y, 25,000, 30,000 for a double Y. All right. So you will have it in your DM. Um, again, if you comment elite on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, I'll put the link in the comments so you can go ahead and click that to get access. But man, this was fun, man. How did let me know that um I don't even want to ask y'all did y'all get y'all value because I know I get y'all value. <laughs> I ain't gonna I ain't even about to ask y'all that. So let me know if y'all got some questions. Go ahead and put some questions out there before I wrap up. I've been on here about 43 minutes. Um, y'all know, and this replay is gonna be available. On Instagram, replay gonna be available for I'm gonna do a replay about 24 hours. YouTube, it's gonna be up there. So if you want to watch the full replay, go watch it on YouTube. I'm gonna have this up there. So a mobile on uh, Instagram, this says so a mobile homes, you only rehabbing it, you're going to sell. No, no, you want to rehab if you're going to sell or if you're gonna have somebody if you're gonna rent it out. So either one, you want to renovate if you're going to to sell it. Um, or if you're going to rent it out. And then the thing is, if you don't have enough money to do a renovation, just sell it to an investor, make some money. Right. So meaning, let's say you see a mobile home for $8,000 and you get it for, for $6,000 and you ain't got enough money to renovate it. Well, go sell it to an investor for $8,000. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Make your two bands off of it. 
right, uh, let's see. Hold on. Let me get my YouTube question. It says, do we need a dealer's license? Fredo, what state you in? Let me know what state you in uh, real quick, and I can answer that for you. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Jamal said, this is enough gems to get it cracking. Facts. Facts. <laughs> Hard money lenders or OPM lender? Uh, whoever going to give you the less interest. I'm going to tell you somebody else money because either, either way go, you're working for the money. Hard money, the term's going to probably be a little bit, um, you know, the terms, you know, your interest may be a little bit high. But honestly, if you use somebody else money, it depends on how much money you're going to tell them to give you, you're going to give them back. You may be working for a high end. You may say, look, I'll give you back 10%, right? 10 to 15%. Well, whereas a, a hard money lender, you may say, okay, cool. They may say, I need back 15%. So it's, it's really <laughs> pick your poison on that. All right. Uh, Fredo said, uh, do you need a dealer's license in Florida? So wholesaling, not really. Florida requires you do one deal a year, calendar year. But here's the thing. I'll tell you it's best interest if you're going to do it, if you want to make this a business. Uh, I'm going to tell you all to get a dealer's license. It just holds more weight when you get a dealer's license, right? I know my sis be like, she don't like it because uh, that means that they count in your pockets. <laughs> but again, if you just want to make it a legitimate business, then yeah. Um, but it's not nobody really policing this. Uh, so are you doing a course? I just came in. Yes. So that's something like if you comment elite, you'll see I have a a pretty much a 12 month program, a six month, 12 month program. We go month to month with me. It's a coaching program. We live every single uh, every single Wednesday. We we got mindset classes on Mondays. Uh, it's a lot. I mean, it's a, it's, it's a lot for less than a thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot for less than a thousand. Like you pay me ninety ninety seven dollars a month. And you know, we 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 rock it. All right, hold on. Um, what are rents that you collect single Y versus double Y? So Maria, so for me for me, I look at what's the average rent. I, I mostly collect per uh what's the depending on what the average rent in the area. So if it's three, if it's a double, even if it's a single Y or a double Y, um, yeah, I might charge a little bit more for a double Y, but it's all about the bedroom. So if the average, if a three bedroom is running for 2400, then we're we gonna run it for 2400. Um, let's see. Uh, so how do I get a dealer's license? Like, do you have to take a class for the license? Yes. Um, so yes, you do have to, it's like a, getting a car dealers, car dealership license. Um, so, you know, as far as that, you sign up at your, whatever your secretary of state or your motor vehicle department, um, they'll have to, if you type in, you know, how to get a dealer's license for your state, it'll come right up how much it costs. Um, it's not a long class. I think like a, like a one day class and, uh, sometimes they want you to have a brick and mortar, so you need like an office, but you know, you can get a space, you can borrow somebody's space. If you know somebody who got an office, you're like, hey, look, I'll pay you to let me put my address here. Um, so you can definitely do it. What time are the classes? So on Wednesdays, they are at uh 7 p.m. uh Eastern time. Yeah, one deal, one deal a year. That's whack. Yeah, but they're not really policing it, man. I mean, I'll be honest, you definitely I'm not I'm not gonna tell y'all like, yeah, yeah, now nah, go run it up. It's just it's about your strategy. That's the biggest thing. It's all about your strategy. Uh, and that's that's the key thing. Um, so yeah, no, nah, man. Listen, man, this was fun. Um, I know I ain't been live for a while. I was doing the midnight lives, but um, this 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 is always cool to come share with y'all. Definitely look out. Got some dope things coming, got a brand new course that's coming out that's going over a lot of things. That's why I'm like join the society. Cause if you in the society, you get access to all of that. So basically, like I said, get started today for 97 bucks. That's how I want y'all to think. For 30 days, get access. 90, you can get four live classes with me, really six live classes with me. Um, and, tr you know, again, try it out. See what you can. The best thing I'll tell you is at least be in there for three months. And then if you do, just save. Like, you might as well get to six months and just save. You save more money the longer, you you know, that you're in it. So, yeah, man, that's that's my thing. You know, like I said, I want to give y'all that affordable joint. Y'all know how to buy a mobile home property in the next 30 days? Come on now. Come on, man. Hold on. It says, do you pay lot fees? Um, so you said, do I pay lot fees? So if only time I, you pay lot fees, if you, if let's say if I'm buying it to hold, I mean, if I'm buying it to flip, then I'm paying lot fees in between the time that I'm holding it. Um, if I'm choosing to rent it out, right. You know what I'm saying? Then, um, you know, within that time span, I normally make sure that the tenant um, pays the lot rent. And yep, Maria says each mobile home park has its own lot fee, right? There's not one thing. You have high, low. All right, hold on. Says, is it still possible to borrow from Lending Club, Lending Tree to buy mobile homes? Did you tell them the reason it is to buy? So what's up, James? So here's the thing. I will always tell you to shop. If you got bad credit, then I'm gonna tell you to go to Lending Club, <laughs> Lending Tree, all right, for a personal loan. But uh, if you got decent credit, uh, here's the thing. I'm gonna tell you leverage credit. 
Uh, there's a lot of people who can tell you how to leverage credit. You want to leverage these zero percent credit cards, you know, that you can you can pretty much liquidate, uh, turn that to cash. Like that's, you know, if you're able to do that. Now, again, we had to do that because we didn't have the best credit. But if you don't have the best credit, I, t I like telling you all about the wholesaling strategy, which we teach in our program. We got plenty of classes on the wholesale strategy that you can. And that way you can get started with little to no money down. Right. You just paying marketing fees. And when I say marketing fees, you're paying your phone bill, you're paying gas money, you're paying for signage, right? You, like that's what you're paying for versus buying homes. And you can still make a good amount of money wholesaling every single month. So um, I don't really encourage it no more. Like I said, that's what we had to do when we first got started um, because we didn't know no better. I didn't know about how to leverage credit. I didn't know none of that stuff. So we went to <laughs> high ass lending club and, and, and got taxed 24% on the 10,000 probably. But we end up paying that boy off. Yes, facts. Yeah, and Nicole said no license for wholesaling. So, ah, man, y'all been phenomenal, man. I appreciate the engagement. I love it. Like these lives are the best when I'm I'm not just talking to myself, right? Y'all was engaging. I hope y'all learned a lot. I know y'all got some notes. You can have some replays. Watch this replay. We talk about how to buy a mobile home property the next 30 days again instagram if you want to if you want to learn more if you want to learn more strategies you want to learn how to wholesale you want you want to learn how to get your own mobile you want to learn how to build your own mobile home park all that instagram common elite youtube uh youtube i, I put the link in there again for the mobile home society just scroll up or visit mobile home elite institute.com i'll put the link in the chat one more time so then that way you all can uh get direct but yeah, listen, man, this was fun. This this was always fun. This was oops, I put the wrong website in. And our inst mobile homely and forgive the mobile homely institute if you go there. It's a little bit under construction. It's a little wild right now. <laughs> but uh, we we you know what I'm saying we we in it, y'all. So man, I appreciate y'all for real, man. Much love to y'all. Always showing love. Always coming on these lives with great energy. No negativity. I love the fact that about the community, man. Y'all keep being great. Much salute to y'all. Hope y'all have an amazing rest of y'all night. Thank y'all selves for being on this live and learning some information tonight. All right. And I thank y'all for y'all time. One of the most valuable things that y'all ever can give me was y'all time. And man, I truly appreciate y'all. I truly, truly, truly appreciate y'all. And I'm grateful for y'all. And I pray that everybody have an amazing night. Man, I appreciate y'all. Appreciate the love that y'all sharing in the comments. And uh, yeah. until next time, y'all, y'all already know. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, family.